What is it mean to be now watching your TV? And as you're about today's title today, I am doing a Q. <laughs> Five minutes later. What is up YouTube? You are now watching Cindy or TV and as you're about today's title, this is my Q&A, period. Um, this video has been requested like for a long time from when I first started YouTube to now. Um, I know I haven't posted a video since the Disney Disneyland vlog and that was a minute ago. And like people have been texting me like, girl, when are you gonna drop another video? When are you gonna make another video? And I'm like... I'm going to take time out of my day to make a video. Today is Wednesday. Um, I didn't go to school today because I overslept. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing anything else in my day. Might as well make a YouTube video. And this video is easy to make because it's just me answering questions about myself. So, yeah. If you're new here, subscribe and go watch my other videos. And if you are, if you're here in the squad in the game you know and you already watched the videos thank you and you know stay ready for the more videos i'm about to drop because i'm about to get real consistent with this especially so i can you know get better at this and you know blow up because this is something i want to do and, and take serious and like like the dieras and the like jada marie like this is really what they do and this is what i want to do because i enjoy recording videos and talking and stuff so yeah with that being said let's get straight into the video <laughs> So, um, I posted on my Instagram questions and I did this before. So I have questions like from a long time ago that people ask and questions now. I picked 15 questions and I have in my notes. I picked questions that are like, you know, worth answering. So you guys, so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. Um, yeah. And I'm going to add in like other little facts about me so yeah the first question is who inspires me okay so with this i'll say diera and i'm gonna say diera because diera she's really that girl like i love diera i've watched her from when it was you know diera and ken to now and she's really like blown up and she's at the top of the top of the line you know um i really like her um like determination she keeps going no matter what like whatever like battles and stuff she gotta get through she gets through them and i really love that and like you know she has her business her um the glasses line or whatever lord a love that and Dear is very fashionable and she does her own thing with that fashion like she be dressing and i love fashion and she's just like an influencer and that's really what i want to be i want to be an influencer so yes she inspires me and i love her youtube videos they're like organized put together her lifestyle is just like yes 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 so that's who inspires me Next question is, what is your favorite food? Okay, I love food. I love, 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 love food. Um, my favorite food is tacos. And when I say tacos, I mean like street tacos, like the Mexican tacos. I love Mexican food. I love Mexican food, so I love tacos though. I just said love like five times. But yes, tacos have my heart for sure my other favorite food though is wings and fries i really like wingstop and american deli best wings though Halloween cafe if you never had Halloween cafe go try it that's on melrose somewhere over there and it's bomb it's far for me but that's worth the drive for sure 
Um, next question is your favorite snack. This kind of falls under that, you know, category. My favorite snack is I love hot chips. Um, but if I had to pick one, like I'll probably say hot fries or hot Doritos. Yes, one of those two. My favorite snack is hot chips though. Well, chips in general. I love chips, ruffles, the queso ones, all of that. Um, yes, my favorite color. What is my favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Pink, 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 pink. Okay, pink. Hold on. Pink. <laughs> so, yes, pink is my favorite color. My flowers are so pretty. Forever flowers. Yes. Got them for Valentine's Day. But yes, I love pink. Pink is like the best color. For real, for real. But my favorite color, they used to be purple. And I loved having purple as my favorite color because that's not like a common color that people have as their favorite color. It's usually pink for girls, blue for boys. Or like red, some people's favorite color. But red was my favorite color at one point and purple was too. But pink it's just gonna do it for me every time so yeah and i recently added these pictures on my wall of myself i'm gonna order some more to put i think i'll put some more like right here i mean over there but more over here because this is where i'm gonna record videos so yes just to add some stuff to my wall and then over here i have uh what does it say always wear your invisible crown dreams Plus work equals success. And then I have this board where I put pictures and stuff on here. You can't really see it. It's pictures of me, my mom, these little kind of stuff. Um, next question is how's life going for you? I can't complain. My life is good right now. My life is going really good. Um, like friendships. Relationship wise, like all type of relationships, family, friends, you know, good, good, good. But I can't say this year's school has been like more tough, but I'm keeping my grades up to par. Um, I'm gonna finish this year out with a 4.0, and I'm claiming that school is not my favorite thing right now, but. I can't really complain. Um, life is good. Life is good. And I pray that if y'all are having a rough time in life right now, y'all go through something. Pray that you get through it. Because you will. You will get through it. And yeah. God puts the toughest battles on his strongest soldiers. So. Um, next question is, how are you mentally? How am I mentally? I am doing good mentally. Yes. I'm doing really good. I'm happy. I'm not like depressed or anything. Next question is, what made you want to do YouTube? Um, I'll say like, I haven't wanted to do YouTube since I was like young, like seven years old, eight type. I've always been the type to pick up a camera, pick up somebody's phone, and record. Like, I really like recording, taking pictures. Like, I just like that. Even before I could pick up a camera or had a phone, like, when I would be in the kitchen doing stuff with my mom, I would be talking like, okay, me and my mom are going to do this, we're going to do that. And I'd be, like, baking stuff with my grandma, be telling them what I'm putting the oven on, all that stuff. So, what made me really want to do YouTube is just the fact that I like filming stuff and letting people in on, like, me, you know? I enjoy this. I enjoy doing this. That's why it's not like I'm just doing this for money to get paid or, like, anything like that. I really enjoy doing this because I know some people do YouTube just because, like, you know, you can get paid from it and stuff. But I do this just because I enjoy it. And I know people enjoy watching my videos like people tell me like oh my god i love your videos da, da, da. and i'd be thinking like my videos is just okay but the feedback i get is like well appreciated because 
I be doing my best with this, you know. I'm not a professional or anything. I'm kind of new to this, but you know, I've been hanging in there. So just gonna get better. And the more consistent I stay, the more better I'll get. You know, better my equipment. I get a camera and stuff because I do record on my phone. But I can't get a camera until I, you know, prove that I'm really sticking to this because I have tried with YouTube multiple times and I never like you know stick to it next question is where do you see yourself in 10 years in 10 years i'll be in my early 20s um i see myself traveling in the world traveling and just being happy i'll probably still be in school if i do you know take that route and continue college and do extra years and stuff then that's where i'll be in school still but i'll be still living my life you know and healthy wealthy and just like happy just living you know pray that that's where i get um next question is what's your skincare routine i get asked this so much guys and to be honest with you i don't have a set skincare regimen really uh i wash like uh, in the shower i use um dr bronner's dr bronner's however you pronounce it i use that the peppermint one and the baby one i've used the eucalyptus one but that's the best soap ever it'll leave you feeling squeaky clean like no babble at all that's my favorite soap so like sometimes i use the baby and scented one on my face but like it strips your skin so then after that i'll put um Hydrocortisone or the CeraVe. Um, I'm going to show y'all. Look, daily moisturizing lotion. But if I do like decide, oh, I want to wash my face with a cleanser today, then I use the green one. When this was trending on TikTok, I had the big bottles of it. And when I did start using it, it like broke my skin out. It wasn't really working like that. But I tried it again. And honestly, it doesn't really do too much to help my skin. Well, I don't really see no changes. Like, um... Like, for a glow and stuff, yeah, but the bumps and all that stuff, it don't really clear them up for me, but that's cool. Like, my skin is not, it's not bad, but it's not the best. So, yeah. Other than that, I'll just wash my face with water and then put hydrocortisone in this. Or I'll put um vitamin, um, vitamin E oil, some oil just to make sure my face is, you know, nice. But I haven't seen on TikTok that people use aquifer on their face, the Vaseline and stuff. I use Vaseline and aquifer on my lips, but I never thought to put it on my face. So I might try doing that. And also on TikTok, I've been seeing people use the Dow Bar. I might try that, but I don't know because what works for somebody else may not work for me. And I've learned that a lot, especially from TikTok. This is an example. This didn't really work for me, but I tried to get TikTok. Moving on. What is your favorite show? My favorite show is You. On Netflix, You, I love Joe, you know, that's my show. It is a little, you know, crazy, but it keeps me interested. And I have like a, not a problem, but I can't really sit there and watch movies by myself for real or like shows and really stay in tune unless it's like really keeping me in the loop. Next question is, what's your favorite artist? And that's plural. So, my favorite artist, like one, is Lil Baby. If you didn't know that, now you know. And keep that in mind because it's never changing. That is my favorite artist. And I love Lil Baby so much. Yes, when I meet him, I will cry. I'm telling you. Um, But he did send me a, um, a CD of like his album. I got some connections with that. So I'm going to meet him. Trust and believe that. But yes, I love the baby. Um, Now, like, I'm going to name another one. Will have to be SZA or Janae. Um, I met Janae before. Love her. SZA and Janae, I love them both. So those are, like, my... Who else do I like? I like Babyface Ray. So... Lil Baby, Baby Fest Ray, SZA, and Janae. I listen to them, like, on a daily basis type. So, yeah. 
Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, the next question is, what do you do on your free time? So, my free time, which is the weekends, my favorite time ever. I hang out with my family and friends and my boo. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I do. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear has to probably be um not you know fulfilling my dreams and becoming what i want to become you know that's probably my biggest fear because like everything else uh, i don't like bugs i don't if i see a bug i run it could be a bug in my room i'm just not gonna be in my room you know till it's killed not by me though but i don't really have fear um how tall am i i am five five and a half which means i'm close to five six like five five point seven five type i'm close to five six i'm probably five six now because i haven't been to the doctor in a minute so yes next question is what is your dream job what are you gonna do when you get older so first dream job has been medical field i want to be a pediatrician then OBGYN, and now i want to work in sports medicine with um athletes and stuff like football players basketball players anything in the sports you know field i want to work with them when they get hurt and stuff but like as i get older i might change back to wanting to be OBGYN and stuff but it's out of them too then on the flip side i want to work in the music industry doing what my auntie jessica does and she's probably watching this video christine is hi auntie jessica love you but she um works at uh capital records i believe um and like she helps manage artists like tusi queen Ija, baby face blue bucks clan stuff like that see So I want to work in the music industry because I love music, love, 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 love music. Music is my everything. Music keeps me sane. Yes, we love music. And if you don't love music, then yeah, I don't know what to tell you. And then like the biggest all-time thing I want to be, I want to be an influencer, a YouTuber, just doing what I love to do, record, taking pictures, all that type of stuff. And I will also get into photography. So those are like kind of my dream jobs, what I want to do. If I could, I would fulfill all of them. I know I can, but like go to school, get my degree so I could work in the medical field, get my degree through the music industry. And then like being an influencer, that's like homemade type. But I feel like, you know, me starting now, by the time I get grown, I already be up there and stuff like that. So yeah, those are like my dream jobs, whatever. Um, I've had them dream jobs, whatever for a couple years now so that's pretty much what i'm stuck to but regardless i'm gonna make it and i'm claiming that so yeah um what's my favorite holiday my favorite holiday is christmas i love christmas so much because me and all my family come together and, you know we exchange gifts and stuff one of my like love languages is giving gifts like i love buying people gifts like and that's with friendships family like like my best friend birthday just passed got her flowers and stuff like i like that like i like seeing people happy because of something i got them okay last but not least the question is who motivates you to be who you are today and i say it's not like one specific person because i have a huge support system like my family loves me and they support everything i do so i really have to say my family and I know my family watching this. Love y'all so much. That's that's all for the Q&A, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new here, subscribe and go tune into my other videos. And, you know, if you're in the family or whatever, thank you guys for watching this video. And everybody stay tuned for the more videos that I'm about to come with because I'm coming with some heat. Y'all. Period. And I go to nail shop tomorrow. Period. Poo. 
I love you guys. Peace.